Meantime, the clock is ticking before the school year begins like no other by virtual learning. Well, we spoke with the superintendent who explains what parents and students can expect. Before the start of classes for public school students in Broward County, parents had the chance to receive some free school supplies. Our students, although they will be learning virtually, they still need supplies, they still need resources in order to be effective learners, in order to engage. Students won't have the typical first day of school experience, but Broward Superintendent Robert Runcy says they are prepared for a virtual launch to the school year. I will tell you that we've been working really hard this summer. Our teachers have been engaged. Uh, and a tremendous amount of training to make sure that the e-learning experience is going to be different than what we had in the spring, that it's going to be engaging, um, it's going to be enriching, um, and our kids are going to learn. He says they will keep children on a set schedule to preserve structure and keep things as normal as possible. They're still going to be engaging with their teachers. Um, live video chat is going to be an essential component of what we do. Um, all of our services, um, mental health, counseling, um, those are all still are going to be continued. We do those uh, virtually as well. And as far as getting back to school in person, Superintendent Runcie says they will evaluate the numbers and discuss with the school board every two weeks. And to get there, he says just like this school giveaway, it will take a community effort. Please do your part. Um, continue to wear masks. Uh, continue to physical distance. Um, and doing those measures uh, will help us to get our kids back on our campuses and back in schools. Runcie had originally set October 1st as a tentative date to return to the classrooms, but again, now he says they're just going to monitor bi-weekly and then go from there. When they do return, it will likely be a hybrid model at first. He has previously said that the COVID-19 positivity rate in the county must be under 5% for at least two consecutive weeks before schools reopen.